Welcome to Ring Theory. At the end of The Lord of the Rings, we see many of our heroes, Frodo, Bilbo, Gandalf, Galadriel and Elrond, all leave Middle-earth to go to the Undying Lands. In this video, I'll be looking at their separate motivations for doing so, and why they left. Firstly, for those that aren't aware, the Undying Lands, also known as Valinor, or the Lands Across the Sea, was the land of the Valar, the gods of Middle-earth. It is also where the elves go when they depart Middle-earth to dwell in eternal bliss. Both Galadriel and Gandalf have similar reasons for going there at the end of the events of The Lord of the Rings. They are returning home. Gandalf, who is a Maya, an angelic being in service of the Valar, was sent directly to oppose Sauron and his evil. With his defeat, his task is complete and he is no longer needed to dwell in Middle-earth. Galadriel was also returning after being born there almost 7,000 years previously. She was banned by the Valar after defying their orders not to pursue Morgoth in Middle-earth during the First Age. By the end of The Lord of the Rings, in part due to her refusing to take the ring from Frodo and passing her test, it appears she is allowed back. Elrond's motivation for returning is a lot more simple. His wife Celebrian had returned to Valinor just over 500 years previously. Her story was a sad one as she was captured and tortured by orcs, receiving a poison wound. Eventually she was saved and Elrond healed her physical wounds in the main, but her spirit never fully recovered and she wished to return to the Undying Lands to heal fully in body and mind. In addition, elves had been gradually leaving Middle-earth throughout the Third Age anyway, as they felt a call home to Valinor and recognised their time was ending and the time of men was being ushered in. In terms of the mortal beings that were allowed there, Frodo and Bilbo, it cannot be underestimated how huge an honour this is. Very few mortals were ever allowed on Valinor. Frodo appears to be suffering from PTSD and describes his feelings near the end of The Lord of the Rings. All that day he was silent. It was the 6th of October. Are you in pain, Frodo? said Gandalf quietly as he rode by Frodo's side. Well, yes I am, said Frodo. It's my shoulder. The wound aches and the memory of darkness is heavy on me. It was a year ago today. Alas, there are some wounds that can never be wholly cured, said Gandalf. I fear it may be so with mine, said Frodo. There is no real going back. Though I may come to the Shire, it will not seem the same, for I shall not be the same. I am wounded with knife, sting and tooth, and a long burden. Where shall I find rest? Gandalf did not answer. This passage makes it clear his motivations for wanting to leave. Of course, his body was injured, but he was also wounded in spirit, and after his great journey, lacked a purpose to go on. He grew restless and knows he won't ever heal in Middle-earth fully, but in Valinor he has the chance to. Because of his great sacrifice as a ring-bearer and huge contribution to the victory of the Free Peoples, he is granted the honour of a place on the ship. With it coming, the opportunity to heal physically, mentally and spiritually. Bilbo essentially is allowed to come as his companion. Also, being a ring bearer, it's hinted he suffers excessive weariness upon its destruction. Neither Frodo or Bilbo will live forever in the Undying Lands, just given the chance for peace and healing in their final days. Another member of the Fellowship, Gimli, also joined them years later, being the first ever dwarf to be allowed passage to Valinor. Galadriel advocated for him to come, and he arrived with his great friend Legolas, after spending many years travelling around Middle-earth together. This, in my opinion, is a TV show crying out to be made. In the appendices to The Lord of the Rings, we find out that everyone's favourite character, Samwise Gamgee, is also granted passage many years later. After his children are grown, and the unfortunate passing of his beloved Rosie, he can then see out the rest of his days, in paradise with his closest friend, Frodo. It was also a somewhat poetic ending for Sam, who was always enamoured with elves, to see out the rest of his days living among them. 
Some fans who I believe are being overly harsh think Frodo ought not to be granted this honour because he ultimately failed in his quest. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel, I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy, and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.